Hey guys, what have we got here is Arp Odyssey. This is the Korg remake, the 80% version. We've also got the Beringer Model D. So let's call this video Attack of the Clones because this is a clone of an Arp Odyssey and this is a clone of a Model D. And both of them aren't exact clones. I mean, this is not the same size as a normal Arp Odyssey and this is definitely not the same as a Model D. But the internals apparently are. But that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is, let's get the sound out of the Model D, and let's put it into the input of the ARP Odyssey, and let's use the Type 3 filter on here, which is supposed to be a Moog replica ladder filter, and let's see what five oscillators sound like, because we've got two oscillators here and three here. But before we do, let's tune up the instrument so that they're all in the same sound. Let's do the A sound. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. That one's good, and that one's good. All right, let's listen to all of them. Okay, that's five oscillators. Wow. Right, now let's thicken it up a little bit by uh, detuning some of these oscillators. five oscillators. All right, oh, what can we do with this? Well, hmm, there's no effects going on at all. This is all just straight out. Let's try the filter first. And as we need to, we can just have the Moog or the Model D clone going through it. So that's no oscillators from the Odyssey. And let's just have the Odyssey. And then all five. All right, so let's base this up a bit. Let's get some square wave happening on the base. And let's go. just increase the octave by two on the Odyssey. So you'll hear that. Sounds pretty cool. Let's get all the voices off. So we've just got the Odyssey. Let's get this. 
Okay, let's get... Yeah, now let's go down an octave. Let's turn on that one that was a down an octave. Let's try some LFO happening on the filter. Okay, and let's try some effects. So guys, just a real quick video, but this is how easy it is you can beef up the oscillators on one of these old analog synths. We could do it the opposite way around too. We could put the output of the Odyssey into the input. This does take an input as well. And we could use the, the Moog copy filter on this as well. They're actually both the same filter. I mean... <laughs> Let's just turn these oscillators off for a sec. So it's just the Moog now, listen. It's pretty much the same. I love the layout difference differences of these two synths. I mean, they're completely different layouts. Maybe what I could do in another video is put the Roland SE02, which I've got over there, on here. Um, and then we could have eight, eight oscillators. I think that would work out to be. <laughs> Remembering, too, that this is paraphonic. So it will only play, uh, it'll play four oscillators on one and then a single oscillator on the on the upper. So if we go, see that? Adjusting that envelope on this is so easy. I love the sliders with envelopes. Knobs are okay, but for me, I love this, this the sheer tactile control. Well, so it's immediate. I want it there, I want it there. It's immediate, whereas this is, it, it's not as, I don't know. Arguments, I guess, prefer this layer. I really, really love it. Don't dislike, but I love this. Okay, guys, anyway, that's enough for today. Um, yeah, thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see the SEO too. Other than that, we're all good to go. Catch you later.